3DO. legendary hall of judgment to stand before the ancient council. There, the ancestors found him unworthy of entering paradise, so they cast him back among the mortals where... Ah, but I get ahead of myself. You wanted to know how he became king. Welcome to the playthrough of Heroes Chronicles, Warlords of the Wasteland. It's a pretty short game. Basically, if you're familiar with Heroes of Might and Magic 3, you should already see how similar it is. In fact, it's actually the same. Except that, well, this is like a light version. You have only an option to play and I don't think that you can install custom maps here. So yeah, that's the only difference. And for those who are watching my Might and Magic 1 playthrough, they might wonder, hey, you know, why are you playing Heroes of Might and Magic 3? It's like centuries after Might and Magic 1. Well, Heroes Chronicles are actually sometime... Well, the first Chronicles are before Might and Magic 1, or around the time of Magic 1. So, that's why I'm playing this. Uh, normally, I would uh, play two Chronicles before and after each Might and Magic game, but I didn't know about Worlds of the Wasteland when I started Might and Magic 1, so... Instead, I am going to uh, do the Chronicles right now. Well, side by side with my Might and Magic 1 playthrough. So, let's start. Uh, first of all, we will start with the tutorial. Usually, I wouldn't do that, but... Well, I know quite a lot about Heroes of Might and Magic 3, and I am pretty sure that many people that are watching are you should also know quite a lot about Heroes of Might Magic 3, but... Well... For those who don't know, and also because the tutorial is also a level that nobody has ever seen before, at least not in normal Heroes of Might Magic 3, that's why I'm going to play it. So, let's go. Tutorial. Warlords of the Wasteland. Campaign description. This tutorial would lead you through the basics of building up your town, combat, and exploring the maps in Heroes Chronicles. Read and follow the instructions provided. That's not a good idea, actually, because they don't really give very good instructions, at least personally. But you'll see that later. So. Tutorial scenario description. This tutorial will lead you through the basics of building your own town, uh, combat, and exploring the maps in Heroes Chronicles. Read and follow the instructions provided. Uh, you will see that this part here is pretty different from Heroes of Might and Magic 3. It's always interesting to see new artwork. So, anyways, difficulty. Uh, just before we start, I have to say that I'm playing Heroes Chronicles Blind, because I've never played it before, but I've played quite a lot of Heroes of Might and Magic 3, so I know how to play the game. Anyways, I'm going to do... Well, for the tutorial, I'm just going to go on impossible. Because there's no way you could ever fail the tutorial. <laughs> really. And gold or wolf raiders? I'll take gold. Hey, wolf raiders. Mm, 
It's a difficult decision. I'll take Wolf Raiders. So, you think you're a barbarian? Then what do you need a guide for? A real barbarian doesn't need any help! Okay, put your axe away. I'll help you. No need to get violent now. I'd rather keep my head, so I'll show you how to run a kingdom in Heroes Chronicles. I'll be your advisor for this tutorial, as you familiar familiarize yourself with the features of this game. Be patient with me, and read the instructions that follow. To move the horseman representing the Tarnum hero around the adventure map, simply point your mouse to the place you want to go. If the cursor appears as a walking horse, you can go there. If the cursor is a rearing horse, then you can visit and interact with that object. Now click the checkbox below to continue. I'm going to press enter! Haha! -ha! <laughs> After reading this message and clicking on the checkbox below, double click on the town icon on the far right of the screen. In the town screen, you will notice it is quite bare. It's time to start building. First, click on your village call to see a list of everything you can build. If it's grey, like your behemoth lair, you can never build that structure in this town. And that is not actually true, because in some cases, that building will be built for you specifically if the scenario needs that. So yeah. But generally that is true. Uh, if a square is red, you haven't met the requirements and can't build that structure at this time. If it's green like the fort, you can build the structure now. S start by building the fort. I'll give you plenty of resources so you'll never have to worry about it about if you have enough to build or buy things. When the real game starts, though, I won't be there to babysit you and I'm certainly not going to give you any of my gold, so don't ask. 90 wood. Resources. There are seven resources in Heroes Chronicles, used to build and improve castles, purchase troops, and recruit heroes. Gold is the most common, required for virtually everything. Wood and ore are used for most buildings. Gems, mercury, sulfur, and crystal are rare magical resources, used for the most powerful creatures in buildings. So we have 90 wood, 40 mercury, 90 stone, 40 sulfur, 40 crystal, 40 gems, and 90,000 gold. Alright. And this is Heroes Chronicles, or Heroes Much Magic 3, because it's basically the same. Let's go to our town, and they were right, it's really bare. They say build a fort. I'd say build a tavern. But let's play his game first. Let's build a fort. We really don't need any troops at this time, so yeah. Now, I'm not sure if the engine is different from Heroes of Might and Magic 3. I think it's a little bit different, a little bit advanced, and you'll see things like the score screen is different. But yeah, for example, I'm not sure if this. If I go to the gold, if you haven't seen if you haven't been to the sawmill yet, turn around and follow the road to your left. No, I'm not going to. Be quiet. So yes, if you stand here, nothing happens. Now, if you take the gold, you get a message. Sometimes you'll find piles of resources, such as this gold lying about. Don't forget to pick them up. I don't think you can do that in normal Heroes of Might and Magic 3. I think that you can't attach messages to resources, but I'm not certain. It would be nice if someone knew more about this. So yeah, we get the gold. And they say visit the sawmill. Alright, as you wish. Follow the road to your left and then up to the forest. The forest? Really now? That's the forest? Uh, you will see a sawmill there. Place your cursor over it and notice the walking horse changes to a rearing horse. That means you can visit it. Right. By now you should have flagged the sawmill. No, I didn't. 
Flaggable objects are those objects that you are able to own. Mines such as the sawmill will continue to provide you with resources as long as they are flagged with your color, purple. Now visit the ore pit to your left and flag that as well. Don't forget to pick up the pile of ore nearby, you may need it. Open the town screen by clicking the village hall. We already did that, game! Let's build the tavern, finally! This is where you can hire new heroes to fight alongside your starting hero. Choose one you like best and hire him or her. They will appear at the bottom of your town screen with some troops of their own. Note that you cannot hire a hero if Tarnum, or any other hero, is already inside the town. For now, keep this new hero in your town. It has some troops to collect. Right, I forgot one thing. Tarnum. Judged by the ancestors as unworthy of entering paradise, Tarnum wanders the land, seeking redemption for the crimes of his past. He is the immortal hero, a timeless protector, but personally troubled by the doubt that he can ever make up for the tremendous wrongs he performed in his youth. Tarnum is our main hero basically in the whole chronicles, as far as I know. And um, he's also a important character in Heroes of Might and Magic 4. I'm not sure if it's is, if he's in Heroes of Might and Magic 3. I think he is, but I'm not sure. So yeah, the story here is quite significant. So don't uh, ignore it. Mines such as the sawmill give you daily allowances of precious resources. The more mines you have, the better. Simply ride into it and the flag will change to your color purple, signifying that you now own it. And alright. Sawmill. You gain contro control of a sawmill. It will provide you with two units of wood per day. Great. And yeah. Sometimes you'll find piles of resources such as this wood. Ride over them and pick them up and immediately add them to your own resources. Yeah. You find a small quantity. What? A small quantity of wood 60? Game, you're not making any sense. <sighs> Treasure chest gives you a choice between gold and experience, whichever you feel you need most. Sometimes chests even give you a magical artifact. When making a choice, consider what would benefit you most. Since gold is always a limited resource, yes, sure, it's a limited resource. If we have uh, 140,000 gold, Durr. Treasure chest can be quite helpful when you need money to recruit troops. However, the experience might push your hero to the next level so you can select a new skill. For now, select the gold. Gold is useless here. I'm going to select experience. Screw you, tutorial. <laughs> After scouring the area, you fall upon a hidden treasure cache. You may take the gold or distribute it to the peasants for experience. Which do you choose? Experience. Take that. Tarnum has gained a level. Tarnum is now a level 2 barbarian. Defense skill plus 1. Expert defense or basic armor? I'll take armor. It give Basic armor reduces all damage inflicted against the hero's troops by 5%. Expert offense increases all hand-to-hand -hand damage inflicted by the hero's troops by 30%. We are already advanced defense. And he's a barbarian, that means he is a might hero, and that means he will get more attack and defense than power and knowledge. Oh, yeah, right. Attack. Attack skill is a bonus added to the attack skill of any troops your hero commands, allowing them to inflict more damage in combat. Defense. Defense skill is a bonus added to the defense skill of any troops your hero commands, allowing them to resist more damage in combat. 